What's up, y'all, and welcome to Fork in Photo. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jade, and today I am bringing you my quick and easy weeknight favorite, pineapple chicken. I started with four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I washed them, cleaned them, all that good stuff. You should do the same. And then I seasoned them lightly with complete seasoning, salt, black pepper, white pepper, and a pinch of red pepper flakes. I allowed them to sit for a while. You can do either overnight or the morning before. So when you get off from work, you're ready to go. Take them out and then I cut them up into small strips. You can do chunks if you like. Whatever floats your boat. It's your meal, not mine. Once all of your chicken is cut up, make sure that you go wash your hands, completely clean your workstation because you don't want to get nobody sick. And if you do, don't say I ain't tell you so. After you have cleaned your workstation and it is salmonella free, get you one cup of fresh pineapples. You can also use canned pineapples. You don't have to cut it yourself. You can make Publix do it. Whatever works for you. Now that your chicken is prepped and your pineapples are prepped, it is time to start on a sauce. Get a medium-sized bowl and then get you some honey. This is about, you saw what I did. This is about one tablespoon of honey and then about one teaspoon of olive oil. Then you'll be adding the juice of half of a lemon. So just cut a lemon in half and then squeeze it right into it. You can use a lemon juicer, whatever that thing is called. I don't have one. Or your good old hands that the Lord gave you. Yes, just don't get any seeds in there. If you do, you have to fish them out. Next up, it is time to add your herbs. That is about a fourth cup of fresh chopped parsley. It's a real rough chop. I'm doing it with my hands right here. That's how I was feeling at the moment. <laughs> And then you get to season it up. If you don't have any fresh parsley, use Italian herbs, use dry parsley, use what you got. Don't run to the store for this parsley, y'all. Don't do it. And now it is your time to shine. It's time to season. First up is fresh cracked black pepper, followed up by some cayenne pepper, because you know I like that, that kick in the back of the throat. Y'all know how I do. Get your cayenne pepper. Add it to taste. Don't say I burned your mouth up. That's all I got to say about that. Then you are going to come through with some thyme because everybody need a little bit of thyme. Followed by some ground white pepper. If you've never had ground white pepper before, I use it in almost every single recipe. So go get some. And you'll be adding some seasoned salt. You can use regular salt if you like or if you're in a pinch. But seasoned salt does the trick here. Then add one heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. I actually use a little bit more. Use as much garlic as you like, baby, okay? Because garlic is one of those things I can't tell you what to do. Then with a good old spoon, mix that all together. And I promise you, it's not pineapple chicken without pineapple juice. Get you three quarter cups or three fourth cups, however you say it. Three quarter cups of pineapple juice. Pour it in and mix it together. And now it's time to cook. Using a cast iron skillet or a nonstick skillet, add three tablespoons of salted butter because I don't use unsalted. And over medium high heat, melt your butter down until the pan is evenly coated. Don't let it get too brown. So if it starts to get hot, turn it on down to medium, y'all. That's what I just did. To turn it on down. Once your butter is completely melted in your skillet and a little bit foamy, it is time to add in your cut chicken strips or your chicken chunks, however you diced up your chicken. Add it to the pan and allow it to cook. Allow your chicken to cook on its first side for about one to two minutes until it is browned or cooked to your desired liking. After that, you will flip the chicken over and allow it to cook on the other side for about one to two minutes as well. And y'all know I do not play about my seasoning, so I did add more all-purpose seasoning to the chicken as the second side cooked. Now that you have browned your chicken on both sides for one to two minutes, get you a plate and remove all the chicken from your skillet, place it on the plate and put it to the side, but do not clean that skillet leave that skillet alone leave it just like that okay to that exact same skillet you are now adding your one cup of pineapples and allowing those to cook down and all that chicken goodness and the bits and the seasoning is good i hope you didn't clean your pan you gotta listen 
to your sauteed pineapples, add in some chili powder, and that's to taste. You just want to offset a little bit of the sweetness from the pineapples and allow them to cook. And once your pineapples have cooked down a little bit and the juices are bursting out of them, it's time to add in that sauce mixture that you made earlier. And so you just want to put that directly into the pan with the pineapples and allow that sauce to thicken. To assist with thickening the sauce, you want to make a slurry using one tablespoon of cornstarch and an equal part of one tablespoon of water and stir or whisk that together until it's combined and then add it into your sauce and pineapple mixture, making sure that you do not allow it to sit, otherwise it'll clump, y'all. You need to stir that. Once the sauce is thickened with the pineapples, Go back to your counter or wherever you have your chicken and add it back to the pan because you want to coat all those chicken chunks and chicken strips and all that delicious sauce and it's pineapple chicken. What you thought? Now that your chicken, pineapples, and sauce are all together in the pan, you're allowing them to marry. Bring it to a low simmer, not a boil, a low simmer, and then turn off your heat. It's gonna look like this. And that's it, baby. You are done. Look at this delicious pineapple chicken. Stir it around. Look at the thickness of that sauce, how it all just has melted together and it's gonna melt in your mouth. Top it off with some fresh parsley. Serve it over rice. You got a bowl. Whatever you wanna do. It's your food, not mine. I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe and that you are going to try it at home. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and follow me on Instagram at Fork and Photo. Until next time, y'all, eat good.